Hi, my name is Wendy Figgy, and yesterday I was at the rabbit judging at the 2020 Howard County Fair. The 2020 Howard County Fair was only open to youth exhibitors and their immediate family because of the pandemic. Because only immediate family could be present and not all of the people that wanted to attend, I decided to videotape the best of breeds of the show and the response of the children to their winnings so that I could make a video and share with family members. Our judge was Piper DeBraglia and she did a beautiful job judging the rabbits as well as giving some very nice video of what the best of breeds were and why she liked them. After each best of breed I then have the 4-H'ers thank you for the judging of the rabbits and I thought that those were really cute. So without further ado here are the results of the 2020 Howard County Fair Youth Rabbit Show. Alrighty, this is our best of breed cinnamon. He's a typey rabbit. He's got really good body type overall. Good bone and length about it. He's got pretty color. He's just open and unfinished because it's summertime and everyone's molting, but he's a nice buck. So there's your best of breed cinnamon. Alright, this is your best of breed Dutch. He's a steel senior buck. He's a very well marked animal. Um, in, in Dutch, both body type and markings are very important. He's a nicely typed animal, but he's also very correctly marked. He's got a very good blaze. You can see that good, correct straightness and placement to that saddle. He's in good fur and flesh condition. He's just a very nice overall animal. All right, this is your best of breed Flemish Giant. She's a Sandy Senior Doe. Flemish Giants are the largest breed, um, and she exemplifies that. You can see she's got a good head and ear. She's got a lot of bone, good length of body. She's also just a little bit open and coat today, but she carries really pretty colors. So that's your best of breed Flemish Giant. All right, this is our best of breed French Lab. Okay, he has a very good head. You can see the bulky head that he carries, those nice thick ears, but still carrying good depth and roundness over that hip, and he's got really pretty colors, so that's your best to breed French law. I know. <laughs> okay. All right, this is your best to breed Himalayan today. He's a black senior buck. He's got a good head, good ear. Himmies have cylindrical body type, so you can see he's got a good top line overall. He rounds out well the base of that hindquarter, and he's got good color where he's coming in. He's pretty finished in that coat overall, so there's your best of breed Himalayan. All right, this is our best of breed Holland Lop. She's got a very good head, good with the muzzle, good with between those eyes. She's got nice shape to those ears. She's got beautiful little body. Good strong shoulder, well filled out midsection. She's in excellent fur and flesh condition. She's a pretty doe. So this is your best of breed Holland Lop. Okay, all right, this is your best of breed Mini Lop. She's a beautiful representation of her breed. She meets the standard very well. She's got an outstanding head, crown and ear. She's got beautiful body type. She's got a good strong shoulder, well filled out midsection, excellent loin and lower hindquarter. And to cap it off, she's in excellent fur and flesh condition. She's a beautiful example for a mini lap. And this is your best to breed mini lap today. Okay. All right, this is your best to breed mini rex. We had a beautiful representation of the breed today. She's an awesome doe here. She's got a beautiful head and ear. She's got a nice, short, compact body with a good, strong shoulder, rounds out through that midsection. Coat is also tremendously important in the Mini Rex breed, their Rex fur. She carries good length, good texture, and density of that coat. She also has pretty color and pattern. She's a broken opal, so she has rings when you blow into her. She's just a very nice overall doe. That's your best to breed Mini Rex. <laughs> Alrighty, this is your best to breed Netherland Dwarf. She's a Black Otter Senior Doe. She's got a lovely head. They're characterized by their nice bright bold eye and good open ear. She's got a good strong shoulder, well filled out midsection, very nice loin and lower hand quarter. She's also in very good uh, condition overall. She's got good color and a good coat. So this is your best to breed Netherland Dwarf. I'm ready. 
This is your best of breed Polish. She's a Blue Junior Doe. Polish are a short, compact breed, and they have to have a really nice uh, round head, bright, bold eye, and short, thick ears. She also carries good, strong shoulder, well filled out midsection, loin, and lower hand quarter. She also has very good depth of blue color. That's your best of breed Polish whether it be virtual, in person, even though it has restrictions. Um, I just think it's very important that we do our best to try and still hold, hold these kind of events. You guys work all year for this. It's hot, you know, it's really hard, so I commend everyone here. Um, side note, I know for one thing, everyone is so worried about kids wearing masks. Kids are the best mask wearers. They're a hundred times better than me, so you guys are awesome. Um, so for everyone that's worried about that, I work in education and I see it, and all along I said kids are so adaptable and we can work with, the, you know, they could teach us something, but I love the participation here, the way that you guys were willing to work with each other, and you also have beautiful rabbits, so congratulations to all of our breed winners. Okay, it was hard to narrow it down and only choose three. Today, your second reserve in show is that beautiful little Polish doe. Your first reserve is the Mini Rex. And your best in show for this year is going to be that absolutely beautiful mini lop. Congratulations.